Hi there, good noon. I welcome you to Baiju's exam prep channel that is dedicated to your success as an aspirant. We bring in a lot of high quality sessions that focus on concepts, that focus on practice, and of course, a lot of other informative and strategy related sessions. So if you're new here, do not forget to subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon so that you get the notification whenever we go live. Uh, my name is Vikrant. I am your personal coach for all things related to English communication and psychological aspects of preparation. And uh, today, we'd of course go ahead and practice session. So we'd go ahead and solve some more questions together. If you are joining, joining me right now, the whole idea is to ensure that we start approaching the questions systematically. The whole idea is to develop a very robust and a very efficient thought process that leads us towards the right answer. And the more you practice, the easier it is for you to access that particular thought process. And before I move further, you know that we've been offering a three day free trial offer program. If you've not unlocked it yet, if you've not experienced us there yet, make sure that you do that. And mind you, if there are some question types where you're facing uh, more challenges, particularly, you can access those chapters on priority and then take a call on whether it is useful for you or not. So here are the directions for the first four questions. They are based on a passage. So I want you to read it and then dive into the questions. And of course, apart from the questions that I ask, questions that you ask are also important. So koi bhi sawal hai, bilkul chat box mein bina filter ke dalo aur apan jawab denge. Haan. So Sri says 60 marks required for a 100 percentile. Sri, that actually varies from year to year. Number one. Number two, uh, there are multiple people who get a 100 percentile. Not all of them happen to have the same score. So you realize once you go beyond 99.99 percentile, now you cannot have more numbers added. You cannot have a... Uh, uh, fractional numbers in between in that sense. Aisa nahi ho sakta na? That we have, uh, you know, 22 and a half people. You, it needs to be a whole number, right? So it is usually the top 12 people who get a 100 percentile, but all the 12 do not have an identical score. And therefore, this question is something that will be fairly difficult to answer here. Okay, and let us start. So, Take a couple of deep breaths. Make sure that when you breathe, your abdomen comes out and focus on the passage that is about to come. So slow exhale and uh, don't forget the moment you're done with the paragraph, you're supposed to let me know in the chat box. Okay. So here you go. Next. And taking you over to the next.
fantastic Sri giving you five more seconds with this slide This is brutal, right? <laughs> Look at the sentence that is quoted from the book and my God, I get the idea, I get the point that somebody who teaches grammar and somebody who especially, uh, there are these areas called misplaced modifier, huh, this is brutal. done ready okay so this is the last paragraph and then we'll have questions Last two paragraphs of the book review or the author's review have been like merciless, absolutely fabulous. Shall we? Okay, so here is the question for you. Why does the author take the example of the CC by GR in the third paragraph? I think I should take you back to the paragraph because we are asking about the purpose. So let me let me take you back to that paragraph quickly. Here you go. This is the paragraph that we are talking about. In fact, it has also been mentioned here. So to examine this further. And thereafter, this sentence. So now that you see this, now that you've read this part, this element again, here are the options for you. Now you tell me what the best answer should be. Now Vaishnav, yes, multiple places, you're absolutely right. Okay, any answer? Okay, so I see two answers. Huh? Ronaldo and Sri have shared their options, their answers. So A, to prove that GR is nobody else but RKJ. No, that is not the purpose. That is already settled. So easy to eliminate. Uh, the passage does not even mention that it is one of the most famous works, so can be ruled out. And all of you seem to have ruled out uh, D, so let's rule that out as well. And you are absolutely correct. B is going to be your answer to this particular passage indeed. And here is the next one. Hmm. 
Ruthik says, can I get 90 percentile? Ruthik, very easily. I mean, I'd say that 90 percentile is a small goal. Five months are a lot, Ruthik. I mean, seriously, that shouldn't even be a bother, really. So, 90 percentile requires you, requires what? Last year, anybody who got eight questions net correct happened to get 90 percentile. Eight questions. I mean, I think you can actually, if you sit down and focus on attempting just 10 questions in those 40 minutes, you, you are likely to reach there. Shouldn't even worry. Okay, so coming back to question number two, the answer to this question is stated in the last sentence of the third paragraph. I think that that is the place where it was. Let me just go back. Ah, sorry, the last sentence of the last paragraph. And if you read this particular line, uh, we'd have no hesitation in choosing A as our answer. And that's something that most of you have done, but let's quickly look at others. B, it results in the creation of prose that is much better than what we normally read every day. <coughs> the author is not comparing that writer's prose with the general prose which is produced or written. So therefore, B can be ruled out. Somebody has also picked up D. So let's check. New trends are established even in the reading habits of common people not at all related to this particular term. Just focus on the last sentence of the passage. You would get A as your answer. So here is the next one. Question number three, which of the following statements based on the above passage is true? Let's see what you choose best stocks you're putting in a lot of fake words <laughs> ah, one one person one vote policy is what we follow Okay. According to the passage, the author stands towards car major is negative, interesting is positive. So, there is a mismatch of tone. So, remember a conclusion is supposed to retain the tone of the facts that it has been drawn from. Uh, therefore, A is wrong. B, the author of the passage is an admirer of RKJ's style of writing. False. C, being a famous writer is not the same as being a good writer. I think this is definitely backed up by the passage. Here you go. It serves as a good reminder that RKJ is not a good writer. She is famous. Those are different things. And therefore, uh, I'd say that... Uh, C is definitely true. RKJ writes exclusively for children cannot be determined. So the, even this goes uh, out and therefore C is right. Vaishnav has a question. How to choose options with facts not from what your heart says? See, uh, Vaishnav, first up, heart is Im immaterial when attempting RCs. Heart is needed for overall preparation. You need to put your heart and soul into it. You need to put your commitment into it. And of course, you need to keep your heart away from those things that distract you from preparation. In fact, this is a popular song. Now, there are people who keep doing that. Huh? Gedi root and all and all. That. So, you, you're supposed to keep your heart away from those things. But thereafter, once you start attempting the questions, the only thing that you bring to the table in the cat is 
So in life, I know decisions are about emotions and rationality. You need to strike a balance. Here, in the aptitude exam, it is all about mind. Are you supposed to use information outside of the passage? Generally, no. There is only one instance in inference-based questions when no answer choice is true. And you see a situation where two or more options are can't say and the rest of them are false. That is the only place where uh, you will bring in your common sense, your logical ability to evaluate answer choices. You may also use them for uh, strengthening and weakening questions at times. But beyond that, we are of course supposed to remain confined to the passage. Whatever our heart says is immaterial. We don't even go by that. Huh? So therefore, just ignore it. Uh, best stocks, how to remember the words, best stocks, I have taken a dedicated session on uh, vocabulary. You would find it here in some playlist or the other. You can look for vocab strategy, Vikrant and you would find that and that will give you a, uh, a much more detailed an answer. Okay, here is the next one. Oh yes, Ritik, huh? Roll in. Ab yar ye gana yaad aa gaya na. Mere dimag mein piche gana hi chal raha hai na. Tear ko mat deni, tere share ko. Hey, this is a this this song is is an ear worm, huh? Guys, this is a uh, uh, Manoj. Should you expect this kind of passage in the exam? Absolutely yes. We do get a lot of passages from arts and literature which are particularly reviews. So, very deliberately chosen this because it is a review. Ah, so, should you expect this kind of a passage? Absolutely yes. Although, I may add that the level of difficulty of the questions uh, happens to be a comparatively on the lower side today. So, questions are easy to moderate but the passage is absolutely spot on. And you guys are also hitting it out of the park. I mean, it basically warms my heart to see that the moment I give you easy to moderate questions, you get it right. It is moderate to difficult, difficult questions where we are still struggling. So it means that you are already at a reasonable level. So the correct answer is indeed D. And uh, with that, let's move on and move on towards what? Uh, let me give you a couple of old para completion question types. So the old para completion question types are questions where you are given a paragraph with a blank and there is an entire sentence missing from that blank. Then there are options and you need to pick up the right option for that particular blank. So the thought process that you require is identical to the new para completion questions. Okay. So these are uh, in terms of approach easier but because they essentially help you warm up the same set of skills I thought that we should do these as well or solve these as well before we get into the new type which I think we will be covering either this Sunday or the next let's see so here is the paragraph at a more appropriate proper font size I am giving you a full 20 seconds to read this and read this again, look at various clues. The next slide will have this paragraph as well as the answer choices. Let's see. Ah, or yeah, video useful chal raha hai, yeah, like zaroor kar dena. I see very few likes so far. And my team generally worries a lot about these things. Kostub, let's, let's go in for a dedicated session on parajumbles. We'll pick it up there. This is more of a practice session, so it becomes difficult for me to get into uh, the discussion of the concepts. Okay, taking you over to the options now. Heinous Vaishnav is something which is very evil. 
very wicked very wrong simply put uh, uh, in fact uh, this is the part where i thought some of us may struggle the rest of it is still fine Okay, Gautam has shared his answer. Huh? That's quick. Very nice, very nice. So one of the clues that we have here is whatever you put before, you need to have some reference for it. So, so far we are looking at A versus C. Uh, okay, now the trouble with C is that C is talking about those who have offended. Now, should have been offended us or offended others, but then this word offended does not go with truly disown their past conduct and redeem themselves. And of course, look at the next sentence. Of course, some crimes are so heinous. So, the paragraph is not merely talking about those who say things which are disagreeable to us. It talks about those who have actually gone on to do something that is wrong. Uh, so, offended will not go with the theme of the paragraph and that is why we can eliminate C. And even if you look at D, similar problem. Okay, So, that is why the best answer is indeed A. Uh, Gautam, you also had an issue. Okay, A versus C. So, I think uh, that, that then settles it. Right? Offended will not go with the gravity. See, look at the next sentence. It could give us a more optimistic, charitable and humble attitude of there but for the grace of God go I. So, what you are basically saying is that, okay, you are in a way shifting the responsibility of your own conduct to some entity above and you are saying that, oh, यार ऊपर वाले की कृपा है मेरे पे इसीलिए बचा हुआ हूँ नहीं तो मैं भी ऐसी हरकतें करता। So you're saying that okay, God is kind to me. God is preventing me to walk on the bad path, on the wrong path. Otherwise, I could have also done similar things. So in a way, you basically identify yourself with those individuals, and you also carry this attitude that okay, it's not the person. It's just that they may not have that divine protection or guidance. So that helps you change your perspective. Huh? So there are times when these tiny adjustments in your point of view can bring about dramatic, drastic changes to the way you look at the world. Huh? I, I in fact have gone on to use a couple of uh, really powerful and impactful tiny POV changes that have helped me get rid of some of those habits which I don't really find very useful in life which I find bad in fact. Tanmoy, disown, when you disown someone, you uh, no longer consider yourself responsible for them or you no longer think of those persons as a part of your life. So imagine if uh, A person's parents disown him, him then it means that they no longer think of that person as their child and unfortunately we do see these in the newspapers too you know those tiny clippings my child no longer agrees to what I say or listens to what I say so henceforth I am not going to maintain any relationship with him so you have kind of disowned that person Okay, so the answer for fifth should be A and here is the next one. Go through the paragraph. Once again, take 20 seconds, look at all the clues, understand it fully and then I will take you to options. Mm, Vedan not exactly ostracized. Uh, disowning is more of a personal decision than a societal decision in that sense.
okay the question Okay, Kostub, good to see that. You're the first one to answer. What else? Hmm? Hmm? Were you fortunate enough to have this kind of input? In case not, then let me tell you, you are the best child and the best student ever. We may have failed you, but there is absolutely nothing wrong with you and you are capable of creating your own destiny whichever way you want. And uh, I think most of you have picked up C as your answer, that's absolutely correct. I don't know why I have these vestigial options available here still. ज़्यादा ध्यान देना पड़ेगा मुझे रात को नींद पूरी करनी पड़ेगी यार हाँ सो बी एंदुजियास्टिक इंटरेस्ट इन द चिल्ड्रंस इंटरेस्ट इज़ अ फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल ऑफ स्ट्रेंथनिंग इज़ डज इज़ दिस इवन कनेक्टेड टू द थीम ऑफ द पैराग्राफ वैष्णव आई हैव डिन डन माय मास्टर्स इन साइकोलॉजी एंड आई कैन टेल यू दैट अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ mental issues that we face can actually be traced back to parenting now it does not mean that we've had bad parents they did their best but then there are times when you're not wise enough or knowledgeable enough or not rational enough to control your impulses so even despite our best intentions we at times mess up so never know but then now you are an adult now you can afford to be your own parent you know parent to your own inner child so take care of that so see it is uh, here is the next set of questions so two questions both of these are para jumbles you would see four sentences and your job is to arrange them to form a coherent paragraph ronaldo saying why not d persistent criticism breeds resentment defiance okay look at uh, what the paragraph says it says childhood program is programming is obviously not all negative so everything here is positive suddenly if you want to introduce d you can but then you need to introduce some sentence some word some expression you know something like however something like but that brings in that contrast d is a negative sentence after all so that is why we could uh, eliminate d okay so para jumbles here is the first one for you so a paragraph with a lot of word based clues if you focus on all those word based clues chances are that you would get this right let's see Okay, everybody is giving me four, two, three, one, and you are absolutely spot on. That is, in fact, the answer. Let me highlight the clues. Okay, still, but he, the condition, which condition? So you notice this. He tells us that sentence number two 
should come after sentence number sorry let me so this he tells me that two should come after four the the condition tells me that three should come after two no nah, so all those things so four before two three after two and this still so the condition corrects it says still she might need a open heart surgery so absolutely yes 4231 those of us who put 2 before 3 but or 2 before 4 and 3 i mean just think of it when do we use the it's a definite article it is used before those nouns that we are already acquainted with so when you say the condition sounds bad which condition so you need to mention a hole in her heart in order to justify the the then uh, you need to write four before two in order to have a correct reference for he you know sylvester stallon so that's the connection <coughs> vaishnav we we <laughs> we give a lot of emphasis to look at look at vaishnav's question it's a very valid concern uh, i don't know how uh, how much it impacts you in the classrooms but i've seen uh, this affecting a lot of people in group discussions the genesis of it is very simple we have given others the power to judge us and we are willing to listen to that judgment so here are two things number 1 whatever others say is just their opinion should that even matter to you so come to think of it if i today if i look at your answer and say oh man you are a genius will you become a genius or if i look at your answer and say yaar tu to na yaar you you tu to dhakkan hai matlab you are stupid will that make you stupid now whether i call you a genius or a fool that's just my opinion that may not be the reality okay and number 2 and this is even more transformational you think others are judging you seriously do you judge others do you have time to go around looking at others answers and evaluating them and then judging them you don't do that others don't do that either we have this false sense of importance we think we are center of the universe we think we are the main character in everybody's movie na 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 you're not the sad reality is people are not even thinking about us dude come to think of it there are times when you have a crush and then don't you complain that your crush does not really have a crush on you or does not thinking about you so even somebody you pay so much attention to does not think about you why would others be thinking about you seriously so they aren't even doing that just go ahead moreover internet come on man it gives you anonymity who knows who vaishnav is or who sri is <laughs> let's see Okay, so it's very easy. Okay, here is the next question for you. Question number eight on your screen. Go ahead and answer. Manoj, you're late. Okay, pick up the pace. this is tricky is difficult to put one of these at the right place hmm and that one sentence is causing a problem so the what i see is that everybody has managed to figure out 213 the only issue now is in the placement of four some of some of us have put in four here some have put it here some have put it at the end where does 4 go now let's start eliminating can i put 4 after 3 so look at 
slowly a sore throat progresses to bronchitis and then pneumonia and respiratory complications so will all this appear like an ordinary flu no and therefore this location is not right for it so what are we left with now 2413 and 2143 it has to be one of these two right the last place is gone uh, so now let us check so 2413 could be under attack atypical pneumonias it appears like the ordinary flu so this it can basically talk about that attack but baffles doctor okay it begins with an ordinary fever and a moderate cough now i think 2413 still makes sense if i look at 143 so 2 and 1 we have no problem with that but then 4 after 1 is also okay but then switching from 4 to 3 will be an issue this is where the problem happens it is no longer coherent so could be under attack begins with an ordinary fever it appears like the ordinary flu that will fine but baffled doctors find that the usual drugs do not work slowly a sore throat progresses to bronchitis and then pneumonia and respiratory complications so first is talking about the journey of a particular illness how it starts third talks about how it progresses so these two sentences should go in together okay you can put it after if so you can put four immediately after two uh, in order to keep one and three together and therefore i think the best option for us is 2 4 1 3 so breaking 1 and 3 apart is going to be a bit of an issue so that's about the questions and here is a thought that i wanted to leave you with ah if you want to be the best you have to do the things that other people are not willing to do you know be willing to walk that extra mile there is no competition on that extra mile so do not do just about sufficient ah there is this word called satisfice satisfice is Uh, the minimum amount of effort that is needed to come up with a satisfactory result it's not a great result but a lot of people simply fall in the trap of satisfying instead of truly satisfying and great and gratifying their needs their wants huh? so please make sure that you're willing to walk that extra step if you like the video don't forget to hit the thumb hit that thumb that shows that you liked it and uh, for more practice you can head over to our app where we upload daily section wise quizzes we've also opened the enrollments to our test series okay uh, and here is a workshop that you can truly benefit from is uh, a if you want to be one of these toppers join a program you can sample it before you join and there is a scholarship test that we keep on conducting so you can keep an eye out for that as well so that's it from me for today until i see you next stay safe stay focused stay in touch and may you have an amazing absolutely marvelous and gratifying satisfying week ahead okay so good to see you so until i see you next take care jai hind and have a great day ahead